Charles King Solomon, 1884, January 24, 1933, was a Russian-born mob boss who controlled Boston's bootlegging, narcotics, and illegal gambling during the Prohibition era. Biography One of the earliest organized crime figures in New England's history, Solomon immigrated from the Russian Empire as a boy settling with his family in Boston's West End. The son of a local theater owner, Solomon and his three brothers came from a middle-class background and, during his teenage years, worked as a counterman in his uncle's restaurant. However, by his early twenties, he had become involved in prostitution fencing and bail bonding prior to prohibition. By the early 1920s, he controlled the majority of illegal gambling and narcotics such as cocaine and morphine before expanding into bootlegging with Dan Carroll during prohibition owning many of the city's most prominent speakasies including the Coconut Grove nightclub. He enjoyed extensive contacts throughout the underworld including the Bronfmans in Canada as well as associates in New York and Chicago. Solomon was tried on narcotics charges in 1922. Represented by editor and general counselor of the Boston American Grenville McFarlane, which had then been crusading against drug abuse, he was later acquitted of charges. He would however serve 13 months of a five-year prison sentence at Atlanta Federal Penitentiary for intimidating a witness into perjury for his narcotics trial. During his imprisonment, a request for his transfer to a prison closer to Boston was made by Boston Congressman George H. Dinkum and James A. Gallivan. Attending the Atlantic City Conference in 1929, Solomon was one of the several leaders in the Big Seven who helped negotiate territorial disputes and establish policies which would influence the later National Crime Syndicate in 1932. Solomon continued to control illegal gambling in New England until his death on January 24, 1933 when he was murdered in the men's room of Boston's Cotton Club by rival gunmen, John Burke and James Coyne. His territories were eventually divided up among his lieutenants Joseph Lindsay, Hyman Abrams and brothers Max and Louis Fox. Solomon and three others were indicted in Brooklyn in early January 1933 on charges of operating a liquor smuggling ring. Two months after Solomon was killed, another of the indicted men, Alexander Lillian, was murdered at his house in New Jersey. Further reading Freed, Albert. The Rise and Fall of the Jewish Gangster in America. New York, Holt, Reinhardt and Winston, 1980. ISBN 0-231-09683-6. Goodman, Jonathan, 1996. The Passing of Star Faithful. Kent, Ohio. Kent State University Press. Pages 278-281 at SEC on Solomon. ISBN 0-87338-541-1. Messick, Hank. Lansky. London. Robert Hale and Company, 1973. ISBN 0-7091-3966-7. Pietrosa, David. Rothstein. The Life, Times, and Murder of the Criminal Genius Who Fixed the 1919 World Series. New York. Carroll and Groff Publishers, 2003. ISBN 0-7867-1250-3. Repello, Thomas A. American Mafia. A History of Its Rise to Power. New York. Henry Holt and Company, 2004. ISBN 0-8050-7798-7. References. English, T.J. Paddy Wecht. The Untold Story of the Irish American Gangster. New York. Harper Collins, 2005. ISBN 0 06 059002 5. Fox, Stephen. Blood and Power Organized Crime in 20th Century America. New York. William Morrow and Company, 1989. ISBN 0-688-04350-X Syphakis, Carl. The Mafia Encyclopedia. New York. De Capo Press, 2005. ISBN 0-8160-5694-3. 
external links Body Boston, Time, Cabaret Gunman Kill, King Solomon, Boston Racketeer is shot by four in Roxbury after ignoring the warning. The New York Times, January 25, 1933. P. 36. Subscription required. Universal HUB.